Hello everyone, this is Mr. Mahmood here helping you do better in maths by giving you tips and tricks on how to revise. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing because I'm always going through maths topic topics for GCSE maths revision. Our today's topic is fractions. I know what you are thinking. Oh, I don't like fractions. Not to worry. Let's start with a very simple fraction. Say, for example, we have two fifths and we are adding one fifth. First rule you need to remember is before you add fractions, the denominators need to be the same. So over here we have a five and a five. So the both denominators are, are five. Therefore, we can add the numerators. Now, a common mistake a lot of students make is by adding the denominators. Now, what they'll do is they'll add 5 and 5, Ooh, no, 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 10 and 2 and 3, bingo, and they'll be thinking, wow, that question was super easy. But we do not do this. We are going to leave the denominator same, and to add 1 is 3. So answer is three fifths. Subtracting with simple fractions, not much different. Say for example, we have four fifths and we are taking away two fifths. Again, do not touch the denominators, leave them as it is. And four take away two is two. So answer is two fifths. Now, this is the easy part. How about when denominators are not the same. So we will have to actually make the denominator the same by using equal in fractions. So let's have a look at an example where the denominators are different. Three quarters, uh, we are adding two thirds to this fraction, these two fractions. Now, as we can see, the denominators are different. Uh, one has a four as a denominator, one has a three as a denominator. Now, again, what mistake will students may make is they will say, okay, three out of two is five, four out of three is seven, five over seven, bingo. That was an easy question. No, we do not do this. Okay, so we are going to find the equivalent fraction. So we need to make the denominator the same first before we add the fractions. So we can see here that this denominator is four, this denominator is three. So we, the way we can find or to make the denominator the same is by finding a common multiple. And one easy way to do it is by multiplying by the opposite denominator. So let's times this fraction by this denominator. So let's times it by three. And according to equivalent fractions rule, we need to multiply the numerator by three as well. Here, let's multiply by the opposite denominator, which is four. So let's multiply this denominator by four. And let's multiply the numerator by four as well, because according to the equivalent fractions rule, we need to multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number. So three times four is 12, three times three is nine, and we are adding three times four is 12, two times four is eight. And the both denominators are same now, magic. Now we can add the numerators. So 12, the denominator stays the same, and nine, add 8 is 17. When you get a question like this or an answer 17 over 12, we can see that the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So we have a an improper fraction. So we need to change this into a mixed number. Now, if a question in your GCSE math exam says, write your answer in the simplest form, you will need to write your answer in mixed numbers. So 12 goes into 17 once we have five remainder and the denominator stays same. So we have an answer of one whole five twelfths. Let's have a look at a subtraction. Say we have five eighths and we are subtracting a quarter from it. You can see that the denominators are different. Now on this one, it's slightly different to the one we did before. We can see that eight 
and 4, the two denominator, denominators, are a multiple of 4. So, rather than multiplying this one by 8 and this one by 4, we can also just get away by multiplying this a quarter, the numerator and denominator, by 2. And in that way, we can make the denominator into 8. And this fraction is already 8 out of 8. So let's multiply this by 2. Let's multiply this by 2. So 5 eighths remain the same. Don't need to change it. And then 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times 4 is 8. Now, denominators are the same, so we can take away the numerators. So, denominators stay the same, and 5 take away 2 is 3. And this time we don't have an improper fraction, so we can just leave our answer like this. So we have 3 eighths as our answer. Now, let's have a look at... Our next <coughs> example is going to be on multiplying and dividing fractions. Now, I just realized we need to uh, do a few examples with uh, mixed numbers. So let's have a look at uh, some uh, mixed uh, numbers examples. Say, for example, we have seven and a quarter. And we are adding two and two thirds. Now, when you're adding mixed numbers, the best way to add them is by just adding the whole numbers first. So 7 and 2. So let's add 7 and 2 first. 7 and add 2 is 9. And just leave it aside. And now let's work with a quarter added to 2 thirds. So let's add a quarter to a third. Now. Just like our previous rule, let's find the common denominator. So let's multiply this fraction by 3 and 3. And let's multiply this fraction by 4, which is the opposite denominator. And then 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 4 is 12, 2 times 4 is 8. So we have 3 out of 8 is 11, and the denominator stays the same, 11 twelfth. Now, remember we had this 9 left uh, from before when we added the whole numbers. So just let's put it with our fraction. So our answer is going to be 9 11 twelfths. 11 twelfths. Let's do a subtraction. 4 and 4 fifths take away three and two sevenths. Now, what we can do is we can take away four, three away from four, so let's do four, take away three, and that gives us an answer of one. Now, we're going to use this one later. Now, let's do the fractions now, so four fifths, take away two sevenths. Find the common denominator, so multiply this fraction by opposite denominator, which is 7, and this fraction numerator by 7 as well, and this fraction by opposite denominator, which is 5 times by 5 times by 5. 7 times 4 is 28, 5 times 7 is 35, 7 times 5 is 35, and 2 times 5 is 10. So we have the same denominator, which stays the same, 35, and 28 take away 10 is 18. So we have 18 over 35. Uh, remember we had this whole 1. So let's put them together. So our answer is going to be 1 whole 18 over 35. And that's our answer. Next, let's have a look at multiplying and dividing fractions. So let's look at a multiplying fraction first. So let's say if you multiply half by a quarter, now, the rule of multiplying fraction is you multiply the numerator by numerator and the denominator by the denominator. So 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 4 is 8. Simple, isn't it? But it gets complicated when we have maybe mixed numbers. Say, for example, we have 1 and 2 thirds multiplied by 3 quarters. So we have mixed numbers this time. Now, before you multiply fractions, you need to change the mixed numbers into a improper fraction first. 
So 3 times 1 is 3, add 2 is 5, and the denominator stays the same, multiply it by 3 quarters. On this one we already have a get fraction, not a mixed number. So 5 times 3 and 3 times 4, so 5 times 3 is 15, 3 times 4 is 12. Now this time we have an improper fraction because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Let's change into a mixed number. 12 goes into 15 once, then 13, 14, 15, 3 remainder, and we have 12 as a denominator. Now you will notice that 3 twelves is not in its simplest form. So what we can do is simplify 3 twelves, so divided by 3, numerator divided by 12, numerator 3 divided by 3, that will give us 1 whole, 3 divided by 3 is 1, 12 divided by 3 is 4. So this answer is, our answer is 1 and a quarter. Now, you can actually simplify here and then change it into a mixed number. Or you can change simplify once you've got the mixed number. Okay, let's have a look at a dividing fractions example. So for example, we have 4 fifths. We are dividing it by two thirds. Now the rule for dividing fraction is to keep the first fraction same, flip the second fraction and change the sign to a multiplication sign. And the way I find it easy to remember is using the acronyms K, F, C, not Kentucky Fried Chicken, keep Flip, change. So let's write this here. Now you're getting hungry now. I am. Could do with some chicken and chips, with some gravy and beans. Anyway, um, let's keep the first fraction same. Four fifths. Keep the first fraction same. Keep. Flip the second one. So two thirds becomes three over two and change the sign to a multiplication sign and we know how to multiply fractions as we've seen in the previous examples 4 times 3 is 12 and 5 times 2 is 10 so we have 12 tenths and again this answer we have here is an improper fraction so we will need to change it into a mixed number 10 goes into 12 once and we have two remainder and 10 two tenths, one whole two tenths. And again, this answer is not in simplest form, so we need to simplify two tenths, which is going to be divided by two, divided by two. So two divided by two is one, and 10 divided by two is five. One less example where we can actually divide mixed numbers. So let's say one and two thirds divided by four and a quarter. So let's change into improper fraction first. Three times one is three, add two is five over three. Dividing it by four times four is 16, add one is 17 over four. So according to fraction, dividing fraction rule, KFC, do five over three. Change, flip the second fraction and then change the sign. So keep, flip, change. So let's do 3 times 17 is 51 and 5 times 4 is 20. So 20 over 51. Okay, and I hope this uh, all-in-one fractions video will help you understand fractions a bit more. These videos are for more like GCSE math revisions. So maybe you know how to divide fractions, multiply, add, and subtract fractions. So this will actually help you to recap some of the uh, rules and hopefully it will help you in your GCSE maths and mock exams and your actual GCSE maths exams. Okay, that's it for today. And don't forget to subscribe. Our next uh, video is going to be on standard form. So we're going to look at how to change into standard form, how to change into ordinary form, and also calculations using standard form. Thank you.